The dreams of Mary Kay Ash are as timeless as her wisdom, and her gift for motivation is beyond measure. You are about to witness Timeless Truths, a classic Mary Kay speech from Career Conference 1994. Throughout this speech, you will hear Mary Kay's own advice for setting and achieving goals, keeping a positive attitude, and making success happen. Whenever you feel the need to connect with her heart and her wisdom, watch this video. Whenever you need that extra push of motivation, let her words and her ideas wash over you. When Mary Kay first started this company, she knew in her heart that she could make it happen, and she knows that you can make it happen too. Make it happen is the theme of this conference, and that's what I want for you. The world is composed of four kinds of people. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, those who wonder what happened, and those who don't know anything did happen. Our company is on a roll. Never in our history have more consultants, directors, and national sales directors been more successful. This makes me very happy, for you have made my dream for women come true. The women who achieve this are just ordinary women with extraordinary determination. They worked to make their dreams a reality. And anything they have done, you can do too. A great example of this is top director Cheryl Steinman. When she met National Sales Director Karen Strom some time ago, Cheryl says that she wore the same glasses she had in high school. She had a perm that just didn't do very well. She wore blue jeans and a smock to her job in a flower shop, and she worked 60 to 70 hours a week. Karen convinced Cheryl that there was more to life than the flower shop could ever offer and persuaded her to become a consultant. She also encouraged her to attend a seminar, which was just a couple of weeks away. She did, and it changed her life. She saw women there of every age, every type, every size, every shape, receiving diamonds and trips and Mary Kay hugs, of course. She wanted that, too. Cheryl says the key to her success has always been trying to be her very best. To be the best means that you are always doing something extra. When you make those phone calls, you make an extra one. When you book a class, you book an extra one. And when you stop by to see a customer, stop by for one more and always invite an extra guest. Perhaps you're thinking, there aren't that many people in my town. I don't live in a big city. Well, Cheryl Steinman lives in Pigeon, Michigan. Population 900, an hour and a half to the nearest expressway and an hour and a half to the nearest mall. But she didn't let that stop her. Now, how can you start on the road to this kind of success? You start by giving a certain number of hours each day to your Mary Kay career. Make it a daily habit to dedicate those work hours to booking, recruiting, and holding classes every single day. Someone once told me that Work will win where wishing won't, and it's true. I found it was. I want you to take the limits off of your thinking and start believing in the success that you want in this company. Start to build your dream in your mind first and write that goal down on paper. You must make your goals realistic, yet aim high enough that you have to stretch to reach them. Write down your goal and then break it into yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily goals. Visualize your long-term goals as if they were already accomplished. Verbalize every morning, noon, and night positive statements about your daily activities. Doing this causes your subconscious mind to automatically go to work on the activity required to bring about your desires. Remember Parkinson's law? Work expands to fill the time available for it. It's true. Have you ever experienced this situation? Somebody calls from the edge of town and says, we'd like to come over for a visit. We'll be there in half an hour. And lo and behold, the spring house cleaning gets done in half an hour. So place a time frame on what it is that you want to accomplish. 
Whatever your goals are, plan how you're going to do that. Write it down and then do it. Use your weekly plan sheet and plan your work and work your plan to develop self-discipline. And don't limit yourself to just one route. Plan several ways to reach the destination that you want. Desire will not become reality without knowing what to do every day. You must put forth activity every single day of the week. Book eight to whole five. Think five to eight every single week and watch your success grow by leaps and by bounds. Ask. Use the open mouth policy with everybody you meet. Go through your customer file and ask for referrals. Tell the Mary Kay story to every person you meet. Reach out and touch others with your career. Some other tips for success. Be sure that you use the six most important things list every single day to give yourself a feeling of accomplishment. It works. Be sure you have your shelves filled with product. You can't sell from an empty wagon. Read applause and the real eye stories of others who are achieving and believe that anything they are doing, you can do too. Fall in love with your job. Luther Burbank fell in love with plants. Edison with invention. And the Wright brothers fell in love with their airplanes. Life is worth living in every field of endeavor for those who put their hearts into their work. It's an inspiration and a joy, and the hours sing a song of achievement. Keep a positive attitude and get excited. Did you ever hear the story of the parents who had twin boys? One of them was absolutely positive. The other was absolutely negative. And since they were identical twins, they couldn't understand why the attitudes of those two children were so different. So they called in a psychologist. And the psychologist came and put the negative little boy in a room filled with every kind of toy a little boy could want. A bat and a ball and a truck and all the other things that little boys like. And then he put the positive child into a room filled with, would you believe, horse manure? And he left them both for an hour. When he came back, the little negative boy was sitting in the middle of the floor crying his eyes out. The bat might hurt him and the ball might get lost and the truck might run over him and so forth. Everything was wrong. And then he went to see the little positive boy. And there he found this child digging frantically in the horse manure. And when the psychologist asked him what he was doing, he said, with all of this in here, there's got to be a pony somewhere. I'm looking for the pony. And that's what I want you to do. Look for the pony. You know, I've often said, find a job that you like so much that you would do it for free and somebody will pay you well. That is your Mary Kay career. Offer it to others. You never know when you can change a life and make it happen for them. God does not ask your ability, only your availability. He does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Over a hundred years ago, Henry David Thoreau said, if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with success unexpected and common hours. You are in the right place at the right time with an incredible career. Every day as we read the newspapers and watch television, we are sold all over again on how wonderful our career really is. Look at all the people who are being laid off. Some of the largest corporations in the United States are eliminating what was once hailed as a secure job. In our company, your career future is in your hands. And you can give yourself a raise anyway, even every day. You can earn prizes just for working and you can earn the use of a car. So why not put that Cadillac in your driveway? You can promote yourself at your own pace if you so choose. You have flexible hours. You can spend time with your family 
and your customers love you because they love our product and your personalized service. So they keep on buying and buying and buying, thank goodness. You have a wonderful support group of sister consultants who share their good ideas and encourage your progress. And you have a director who says, if you want my status, I'll help you get it. Imagine that in the corporate world. Our beautiful pink bubble certainly is a lot different from the world outside. Remember that anything in this world that you want, you can have if you want it badly enough and you are willing to pay the price. Learn to balance and budget your time and treat it like it was pure gold. Remember that one intense hour is worth a dreamy day. Allow enough time to do every job properly and don't be afraid to delegate authority or to hire help when it's necessary. Don't spend dollar time on penny jobs. It doesn't matter who washes the dishes or scrubs the floor as long as it gets done. Remember too, it's so important that you believe in yourself. There's a little poem that says it all. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you will lose, you are lost. For out in the world to find success begins with a person's will. It's all in your state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster woman, but sooner or later, the woman who wins is the woman who thinks she can. Make a commitment now.